the matter? Don't you recognize your older brother? You look sort of different. It's my intention. But I brought what you, uh, what you wanted. So give it to me. What exactly are you going to do? Unless you know unless you're involved. Did you bring those, uh... They go in this end, they come out that end, they're about that big. Almost forgot. You have any doubts? No. Look, whatever you want, I'll do it. All right? If you want me to pull the trigger myself, I'll do it. Huh. I'll meet you here when it's over. It all happened so fast. I had become an accomplice to my brother Patrick's premeditated crime. I love you. I have to make an attempt to understand what happened. I had a call from Marion Madsen. She wanted to know if I had any antique clocks. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you told her we got a clock epidemic. Oh, yeah, that from somebody who's notoriously late. I tell her my friend Captain Mulvaney is always on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, hey, honey, sit down. Uh, 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 don't use too much of that syrup. It's pure maple. It's very expensive. I don't have time to eat. Ah, uh, breakfast is... Oh, it's the most important meal. Yeah, have a little bit of orange. I don't juice. want that. Just tell me, Muffin, why do you suppose a certain football hill here hasn't done his chores for over a week? Tell him I'm sorry, sir. <clears throat> I'm just a little behind. Well, I gotta get my jeans. Oh, you can take the bus. Hey, you take a shot. Don't go. Hey, just so you know, your old man loves you, number four. I can't just be so late, you know. Come on a second. <laughs> Come on, Come on. 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 Boy, were they different. Mary Ann was one of the most popular girls in school, but Patrick was a self-declared loner. He disdained high school sports, clubs, and competition of popularity in whatever guise. His heroes were Galileo, Newton, Charles Darwin, and Albert Einstein. You couldn't imagine any of those people caring in the least about popularity. I'd like to hint that I'd been named after a rich, eccentric relative of his, an Irish landowner, a lapsed Catholic. But I guess that was some kind of joke. Dad hadn't any relatives at all in Ireland that he knew, nor any relatives in this country he'd acknowledge. Show me some tea. We Mulvaney's were a family in which everything that happened was precious, and everything that was precious was stored in memory. And everyone had a history. Uh, no, I'm not kidding. I was walking with her around the lake. Oh, this is the summer I was a waitress at the Adirondacks, and he was this, oh. Gorgeous construction worker. All the girls are crazy about him. Will you let me tell this to Okay, Trip? honey, you go on, go on. We're walking along, there's this tremendous squawking noise, and we see a goose trapped in some fishing net, and this one yells, oh, look, that poor goose! We have to save it! And she marches straight into that dirty brown water, up to her waist, to save the damn thing. There's geese, killer swans all over the place. And I followed her in, in my good crepe sole canvas shoes. That's how pretty she was. I always say, we fell, we in, fell love in love over, 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 over goose. Over. Anyway, the damn thing was flapping its wings like a deranged windmill. I finally get a hold of it, and Nature Girl here untangles that net just like unwrapping a gift on Christmas morning. And I'm looking at her, and I'm thinking, now that girl is quick, and she's strong, and she's damn pretty. Oh, wow, yeah, don't believe him, Trisha. I was a fuzzy-haired, gawky, homely farm, farm girl. girl. Farm girl. <laughs> Poor Trisha comes over for dinner and we stick her with our life story. I loved hearing it. It's even better than Millions' time. Isn't that right, little muffin? Yeah, pretty soon we'll be able to travel back in time and actually relive the goose story. Oh, don't listen to Mr. Einstein over there. None of us do. Mike, where are you going? Let me myself You like Ray Pringle? Do not. Well, he likes you. Maybe that's why he's recommending Mulvaney roofing. Beep, beep. Hi, Dad. Ooh, beep, well and dead. I... Who knows? Uh -huh. Jerry, how's Jeanette? Give me that thing. Come on. Oh, okay. We got to run around. Let's go. Get him, Daddy. All right, come on. Come oh, on. get it. Come on. 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 Come on.
God is trusting us with something we're probably not good enough to deserve. Ah, oh, we Mulvaney's joined at the heart. Maybe we weren't perfect. Nothing is. But what we had was pretty damn good. A very solid foundation. No cracks. At least that we could see then. Pick up uh, Marianne at the Laporte. She needs a ride home with him. The morning drive to Mount Carmen and back. Thanks, Mom. That's just what I need. Take the Pontiac. Your dad's got the pickup. I got it. See yourself. Okay, so what happened? Did uh, Austin Weedman spill punch on a new dress and you're afraid to sell mom because it cost 200 bucks? I got it, I got it. It's a boy girl thing, right? Everything's about sex, it's primary law in nature. There's nothing wrong. Oh, come on, Marianne. You're incapable of deliberate deception. I know. You remember those chess lessons at one time? Mitch, Where... please don't. I don't know why you're trying to hide it from me. I'm just gonna. Pick it up on Twin Radar. Hey, Marianne, look at me. I just have a headache, Pinch. Just a headache. Harvest ball was a real bust, right? Right. Yeah, Mr. Pringle huh? said he cleans your clock in golf. Oh, is Homo he's sapiens the only species Pringle. that laughs? Give me a break. Let me tell well, you. What's, well, no, what's the evolutionary advantage in laughing? I can bury oh, Ray Pringle in the golf course anytime I want. If I push hard, I mean, he's primarily active, but I don't really push. So Ray gets me out of the way around and do it. Whistle, will you stop <laughs> jumping up every five minutes? Good equilibrium in what sense? In the sense of friendship. Pure and simple friendship with a person of Ray Pringle's quality means a hell of a lot more than winning a game. Sound business. Feathers. Who in this family had to set the table because the person who usually does didn't? I think it's cruel to keep that poor bird caged his entire life so that selfish human beings like us can be entertained by him. I think it's a sin. But Feathers is a canary who was... Bread for generations for that cage. He loves that cage. He was born in it. It's a gorgeous cage, antique. It's still a cage. Marianne. Marianne. Dad, what is it? Da Michael. What's going on? Nothing. I don't need out of that garden. Go in the den, both of you. Do not worry, okay? I'm gonna get him. He's gonna pay for this. How come you're so busy making yourself pretty like nothing ever happened? What did Zachary do? You don't need to know. Of course he needs to know. He's a member of the family. He does not need to know. I've got people waiting. Come out of here. What chance did Marianne have against Zachary Lunt? 
His friends would rally around him, her word against theirs. How could she put on her cheerleading uniform or walk down those halls again? 